Who were you no game? Project Cross Zone, the arena. Hello out there, all you wonderful people. This is Andre, the game idea guy. Thank you very much for lending me your time and your ear and listening in to another Why You No know Game video for me. Uh, firstly, I'd like to apologize for this video being so late. I was actually trying to capture um, footage of Project Cross Zone 2 off my 3DS with my phone, but I was having some trouble getting it the way I wanted it to look, so I just defaulted back to you guys looking at me because I was trying to just like catch little little uh <laughs> like little shots of just action happening in the game and I was going to like catch like five or six shots <coughs> and just loop them but it didn't work out too well because yeah I don't have the proper equipment for that <coughs> And my throat is dry as hell for some reason. Um, <laughs> but, um, Project Cross Zone The Arena. It's something that should actually be quite apparent should happen. <laughs> At least as far as I'm concerned. Um, it could be a 3DS game for all I care. Just because, like, the other two who are the other two Project Crossing games are already on 3DS. Um, and I wouldn't want them to try to force using, uh, like polygons or anything. They could stick with the same, the, the same sprite look that they have. Like, because those sprites look like they could be highly versatile and used in a fighting game type setting. And I wouldn't mind seeing them like that. So I would say take every character that has appeared in Project Cross Zone. And maybe even go <coughs> as far back as to to make sure you cover everybody who's appeared in um, Namco Cross Capcom. And just make each, put all of those characters into the game and make a fighting game out of that. And, um, and people will probably hate me for saying this, but the battle system, I would want it set up more or less like, um, like Street Fighter. Not Street Fighter V... Um, somewhere between which a balance between Street Fighter 2 and Street Fighter 3 I would I believe would be a, a good a good fighting system for for this type of game like um, Street Fighter 2 definitely the characters took way too much damage and throws were like <clears throat> way too powerful but um the flip side to that is that Street Fighter 3, a lot of characters, like, a lot of characters were way too vulnerable to certain, like, when they did certain attacks. So, like, it, it's, it's different for a character to do a dragon punch and be stuck up in the air for a minute. Yeah, they're definitely vulnerable. But when you throw a punch and your character can't pull back the block quick, it, it's a little bit of an issue. Um, <clears throat> so there, there would have to be some balance like somewhere between those two games like somewhere in there like i think would be a good system for this this game like you give all the characters a six button layout um <clears throat> and i was thinking about something and it just escaped me <laughs> Uh, but, it, like, all of the characters up until this point, and if there's a Project Cross Zone 3, then there could be a follow-up to it. But, um, just, like, get them all in there. Just make a fighting game for them. Like, and I, I know this would be something that would be big and it would take a while to do. But I'm like, you got Monolith Soft already there working on, um, who's, who's already made, like, a lot of character models and all this shit for it. What I would suggest is bringing in Atlas to to do the fighting system. Like, and I know they could do a really good fight. Actually, if if I was to go back, I, I take that back. I would use the fighting system from King of Fighters thirteen, which probably which is probably the same system as in King of Fighters fourteen. But I haven't played it, so I don't have a PS four, so I can't play the demo. But um. The fighting system in King of Fighters 13 would actually work for this. So, like, it, it kind of is that balance that I was talking about between Street Fighter 3 and Street Fighter 2. Like, it's it's in the middle of those as far as how it handles and 
<coughs> repercussions for certain actions and stuff like that, how they work. So I think that would, I think Atlas is probably best for the fighting system fighting system and i know somebody would be like well why don't you want like a Cap marvelous capcom-esque thing well i'm just well while i'm saying this i'm thinking about the size of the 3ds and the screen and stuff like that and i'm taking that in the context and thinking about how that would look <clears throat> i mean and granted it could be done because you got the you got dragon ball z extreme butoden on there so it's not like that's impossible but i think a more standardized setting and set up for stages would work better for this particular particular thing especially seeing as the the style and the look of the characters i think it would be better to have a more grounded approach to it rather than have everybody jumping way into the air and, and being floating around forever i mean it could be cool either way but i i think personally in this particular situation if a project cross zone arena game were to happen that's how it should be done <clears throat> and this is there's another good way to promote these characters like <clears throat> what i'm looking at right now if they if they keep making project cross zone games they could use it as a promotional item and that would be awesome and i and i want to see that happen i want to see it become something much bigger and maybe not as big as smash like well i would love to see it be as big as smash but I wouldn't expect it to be as big as Smash, but I think it would be a good way to bring back a lot of characters and, and re-promote them and, and bring them to people's attention. Like, I think that would actually be pretty cool and that'd be pretty smart. And it'd be another way to draw interest into the Project Cross Zone series. Like, a fighting game alongside the uh, the tactical RPG, I guess you could call it that. And it's, it's, it's somewhere between being tactical it, well yeah i guess it does fit as a tactical rpg it doesn't seem it wouldn't seem like it to most people at first but you really have to plan out how you're going to play each stage like you can't just go willy-nilly and expect to to keep to keep progressing through this game you actually have to think about your actions and, and everything so i think a fighting game for this is definitely probably the next the next best step if not putting it on the 3DS, then the next Nintendo home platform because now Nintendo characters have been involved. So I don't, I don't, I don't see, I don't see it really going anywhere else unless they're just going to completely strip Nintendo characters out of it. But then, at this point, the the Nintendo fan base is the fan base that it's that are familiar to it. So, like, it, there's a lot of things to think about. There's a lot of things to think about. Um, <clears throat> but uh, I would I would really love to see it because I I look when they put Axel in Project Cross Zone two, my inner fanboy flared up and I was like I want to play with him I want I want to do combos and damage with him in a fighting game they could take all the individual characters they could take all of the paired characters and make them their own characters or if they didn't want to do that if they didn't want to do that um. <clears throat> what they could do and and I'm I'm just shooting this on the fly what they could do is um put the characters together in in pairs or allow you to pick them in pairs like do like a two versus two type of thing and then have a backup character and just like the characters that were only used as singulars well, no, that's, that's, that wouldn't work because certain characters became singular characters and then other ones got paired. So I guess everybody could be eligible to be used as your as your your main pair and then another character could be used as like a striker backup type of thing. Which, that, that's, there we go. That's how, that's how it should work out. You'd have <clears throat> teams of three two characters that you are playing with they are your combatants they are your team and then you have a third character who can be the backup and for the sake of stories and such the game would have a layout where you have the teams of three across like kind of like how king of fighters is set up i don't know atlas definitely would be perfect for this then kind of how like king of fighters is set up where you have your teams your, your already preset teams 
all lined up and you can just pick whoever at random to, to do whatever you want. But playing with the preset teams is what gives you the different stories and, and the different endings and stuff like that. And then there would be a few special variants, which I, I could agree with that. Like just have a few special team variants that could get you certain en endings and things like that. That would be cool. And indefinitely, with the way this, the way I'm talking about this, Atlas would be the best choice for this because they're familiar with the King of Fighters system, and this type of um, thing could literally be done the exact same way. They're, I've I've solved the problem. I've solved. No, I'm just I'm just stop fucking around. Um, but I do think that that would work out, and it would be, that would actually probably end up being an awesome ass fucking fighting game. Like just think, <laughs> like just my ass. I would team up fucking. Uh, <laughs> I would likely team up Ryu, Axel, and Akira as as like my 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 strong man walking around the world beating everybody up, <laughs> bashing you with a fist tight team. Um, then to say uh, for another situation, uh, I put uh, put X Zero and Captain. Well, that's how I had them anyway. I had X Zero and Captain America as a team in the game. I'd do that again. Just had X Zero and Captain America as there is a team for um, story purposes and stuff like that, or um, have a. Strider, Captain America, and Zero as a team. Like that, there's a lot of variations. Like I can see with this type of thing, or um, if they bring back uh, the girl Me and I forgot the 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 damn detective ninja dude's name. Like bring them back. Like there's a lot of characters that they they can pull from that have been in the series. Like whether it be characters that were original to the series or characters that they put into the series hell dante and virgil another good team right there uh <clears throat> um shoot i was thinking about it though uh have a uh, chun li pie and zhao Yu, and i did that in project cross zone too like that was my that was my chinese uh <laughs> my chinese women's team like i like i could see a lot working out for this and I could see it being a fun thing and something that like and it wouldn't have to be like a, a big budget title it could it could be moderately successful because it would be putting a different spin on what they've already done with it and like and, and I and I get that that versus series games are highly common but there has yet to be a versus series game at all that utilizes more than two companies so that's why I'm looking at this could this could work out in their favor and it could be something awesome and amazing like and currently Project Cross Zone has now Sega Capcom Namco Bandai and Nintendo so you've got four companies worth of characters that have been in the games that you could pull from and I'm not necessarily just talking about just the characters that you play as to to play through the game also, the villain characters could be playable characters and fighters in this game. So, that could create a lot of different variants. Like, um, you could have Morgan, Dimitri, and Pyron as a team. Or um, <clears throat> Felicia, Morgan, and, and Pyron. Any combination of those characters that were in there. Or BB Hood and Pyron and uh, Morgan or Dimitri or whoever doesn't matter like i'm just saying that those the possibilities are there or uh, you could have um uh chun li jury and bison as a team just like just there like to have the combinations there or have the uh the the yakuza dudes and um yo hazuki from shenmu they could be a team that was another team that I actually had, and then I'm thinking about it. So there's, there's a lot that could be done with it. There's a lot that could really be done with it. And like, and the premise for Project Cross Zone is to be crossing different universes and different uh, 
hit in different points in time. So this could easily be done within the lore of the series currently. So it's it's a win-win if they were to go that route. And I think that would actually be really good for the series. I think it would it would actually be amazing, to be honest, to me. If, if it happened, I would be sitting there foaming at the mouth, salivating like, I have to play this. I must play this. Just like I was doing for Project Cross Zone 2. <laughs> like, and I beat the game, but um, oh, this is training. I was like, I was trying to use training mode to catch footage. So, <laughs> like, but I've played through and beat this game. Like, I put in a good sixty some odd hours into my first run on the game, and I've already started my second run. So, <clears throat> I, I would love to see more of this. I would, I would, I would love to see this become a series that continues, and I'd like to see it have different varying games that happen along with it so that's that's that oh gosh i'm i've been going on about a fighting game for this for for a while so oh i didn't even think about talking about game modes obviously arcade the story mode a training mode survival mode um um da, 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 da. an online mode. <laughs> online mode online versus and stuff like that um online tyrannies or, or tournaments uh, um basic type stuff. Basic stuff that didn't end up in Street Fighter V. <laughs> I'm so wrong. I need to stop picking on Capcom. They've, they've, they've had enough. They've had enough. I'm going to stop picking on them. But, um, that's really it. That's, that's really it. I, I don't think there's a whole lot more I can dive into. So, if you guys want like, hey, discuss it down below. Like, I know there's some Project Cross Zone fans that's this be that be uh, checking out my channel. So, like, just like let's discuss that in the comment section. Y'all, y'all throw me some ideas. We can bounce back off, back and forth with each other. Um, but thank you guys very much for listening. Keep your eyes and ears out for more of my stuff. And until the next time, enjoy your games.